Raising emus. Today I'm inside the emu pen and egg laying season has started. So we've been raising emus for almost three years and I always get asked, well, when do they start to lay? Well, it just depends. It varies a lot. I think a lot of it's got to do with the weather and the climate and the light and what, what part of the world you live in. We live here in Northeast Wyoming and our male emus are almost three years old. Our female emus are two and a half years old. So, so far, last year we got one leathery egg that wasn't any good, the shell was no good, it was broke. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a week ago, we got one that was cracked, it had froze because I wasn't expecting emu eggs yet. And then here we got this egg here in the nest, which I'm going to show you guys here in just a minute. So with our emus, they are part of our farm, and our farm is uh, made up of several smaller diversified businesses within it. So emus being one of them, and we want them to turn a profit. And it's, it's been almost three years of raising these guys. They're now starting to lay eggs, so we can hopefully start to generate a profit with the emus. No, yes, we are a small farm here in Northeast Wyoming. However, we want all of our enterprises that we are doing to make some sort of income if we're doing this because stuff isn't cheap anymore. The price of feed isn't cheap. We've got to make a land payment. We've got to pay land taxes. We've got to pay, pay uh, into the insurance to, to cover some of this for our business. So making all this come together and all this work is what makes it all happen. And we love doing that, but it's just more exciting and we can start to generate a profit with one of our enterprises here being the emus. I've always joked and said, well, the emu business hasn't taken flight yet, them being a flightless bird. But now with uh, starting to lay eggs, hopefully we can successfully hatch some eggs and then see how that goes uh, down the road. Let's go take a look at this egg we found over here in the pen. So the hen will lay an egg in a designated area. Basically, the male is going to pick where that egg is going to be laid at. And there's kind of a makeshift cover up here. The male did that, making his little nest for the, for the hen. So we're going to go ahead and get this egg picked before it freezes here outside. It's about 35 degrees right now. So there's an emu right behind me. I'm guessing that is probably the male checking on the nest, checking on the egg, because the males actually sit on the eggs and incubate the eggs, but they won't do it until the clutch is full. It's got a full nest. However, we're not going to allow the male to sit on them just because it's too cold. Those eggs will freeze out here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this egg picked and then uh, see how many more eggs we can get here in the next few days. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this egg here, take it inside and store it. So I'll take this site, this egg inside the house, kind of wipe off some of that, uh, that litter that's on there. And then I'll store it here until I get enough eggs to set into the incubator. So we'll see how many more days it's going to take to get another egg and then hopefully another egg and just keep getting eggs from there. Hey, quit. All right, so I'm gonna go inside uh, one of these rooms here in the barn. This is actually our brooder room where I brood our chicks at, but I do have the uh, cabinet incubator set up in here for incubating as we ran out of room in the house and too many tiny hands to get on the incubator. So it's out here now. All right, so here's the incubator right here behind me. This is a, uh, a Sportsman uh, 1502 is what it is. So the brand is GQF of the incubator. Good brand incubator. I've used it for years uh, doing chickens, doing pheasants, doing ducks, doing turkeys, quail. But I've never successfully hatched an emu egg in it yet. Here's what it is. It has this clear front I like for easy visibility. This here is my uh, humidifier right here to get my humidity around uh, 30 to 35 percent. Uh, here's my control panel here, the inside temp. It also tells the humidity right there. A couple other thermometers there. So I won't set that egg until at least I get a couple more, hopefully within 10 days. I don't want to sort for longer than 10 days. Here's an inside look at the incubator. It's got this rack down here for, especially made for emu eggs. Then right behind me, just a little table, the heater, the workstation heater or table right here. An exhaust fan, which I only use when I am using this as a brooder. So this probably wasn't the ideal spot for this incubator. It should have been in the next room over where I don't usually use as a brooder, but we had some produce and stuff in there for the fall to keep it from freezing. And I didn't want to bring the temperature up into that room into the, the 60s like I am here and spoil the vegetables. So that's why it's in here for now, which, which will work fine, I think. All right, so like I said, this is my first uh, real emu egg that's not broke or anything like that. So people say that they like to weigh them. So I want to weigh it and just see what it weighs. 
I will go in grams because that's what everybody weighs these things in apparently. Curry grams. And now I need to tear it out here. Okay, tear it out. Okay, the screen's not reading real well there, but 626. 626 grams, I think they say they average anywhere from four to uh, 650, some being bigger, some of the huge ones are like eight, 900 grams, but so it's average, that's good. So let's see what that is in pounds. All right, 1.38 pounds is the emu egg right here. All right, so we're gonna wait a little bit until we get a few more eggs to start incubating this egg. If you guys wanna learn more about our emu uh, adventure here and why we chose to uh, start raising emus, how we did that, I'm gonna post a video right here that uh, talks about that called Why Emus. In the meantime, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.